And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard EQ processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems, so it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today, we're currently featuring over 2,500 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word Highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9 VKV Logbook and KC9 VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running four internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio. And today, 
Our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six-position rotary selector. Also today on the transmit side, we'll be running our NOSWR specially oriented resonant dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant dipole runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hotspot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO Vlog video. And with uh, that we will open up the uh, QSO Vlog network and uh, see if Charlie's on the air. Uh, K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Near the Canadian, got a copy? Yes, Jim, I've got a good copy now. Uh, the band is improving. You're running a 6 to a 9 direct. That's why I do not have the capability of uh, the uh, VCR. Uh, I do have a recording uh, I had made of an Australian station on 40 meters, uh, VK3, uh, Victor King3, uh, and then I also have uh, Captain Mike uh, in there, made uh, less than uh, two we three weeks ago. Uh, however, he'll be flying. He starts to fly early this coming week. So I'll try to get more uh, uh, contact on him. If you're copying okay, I'll play uh, the station in Australia on 40 meters uh, and then Captain Mike on 20. Go ahead. Yes, sir, Charlie, copying you uh, 20 over on the Pennsylvania SDR. Roger. Uh, 20 over on the Pennsylvania SDR. Roger. Well, Roger, right now you're peaking a 9 direct. Okay, let me see what I've uh, uh, got here. Let's see. Wait a minute. I've been down the bay and seen all the yacht masts all over the place, so uh, that's uh, interesting, but it is booming, you know, you're really, really are strong here, and uh, compared to other signals, I can see on the scope of this radio, uh, all the other signals there, and yours is super fantastic, coming through uh, really, really, really strong, and the audio is because of the QRM that you're receiving there, uh, there Charlie. K1, Golf, Zulu, Lima, Victor Kilo, 3, Mike Hotel. Point gears and Alan, KX4, Whiskey Charlie. Yeah, good copy on you there, Charlie. I'm sorry I'm a couple minutes late. I uh, looked at the clock and it was uh, 22, 20, uh, 2202 there, and I said, oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, uh, good to hear you in there. We're uh, just passing uh, Topeka, Kansas. Uh, at 36, uh, 360 with uh, 1,180 miles to go. Um, looks like we're going to be arriving here at about 9 o'clock your time, Charlie. Got off to an early start and uh, winds aren't so bad today. Uh, we don't have any headwind at the moment, so uh, we're getting in at a decent hour. But uh, you're, uh, you're 5'9 plus uh, as usual, uh, minus 56 up here today. Uh, T1G, good L, KX4, Whiskey Charlie. We sure are, Charlie. We've got to go right down the middle of the country today. We have to avoid the, uh, the winds uh, up on the uh, northern side. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, been slow. It's a really nice uh, day today. Uh, kind of warm in uh, Philadelphia. It was in the 80s. So uh, it looks like winter is uh, over up, out there. I don't know if they're going to get another cold spell or not. But uh, uh, nice weather there. And, uh, yeah, for on this route. And, uh, uh, so you got Colorado Springs to the north, uh, Denver. So uh, right down the uh, over the Rocky Mountains there, and uh, south of Salt Lake City. So again, yeah, this, this is uh, quite a bit south of our usual track. But uh, anyway, good here in the, the group there yesterday. So I couldn't hang around very long. I don't know if anybody else uh, joined in. I heard Norm and uh, uh, Bob and uh, J uh, Gary there. But uh, nice hearing everybody in the group. Nice uh, K1G's at L. Okay, I'm with you, Charlie. Is south of Denver, so we're going to be about, uh, let's see, it looks like about uh, 
30 miles south of uh, Colorado Springs, puts us right over Pueblo, Pueblo, Colorado, and then uh, westbound from there. But uh, anyway, well, good hearing you in there last night. And uh, did anybody else join in the group? Uh, was uh, Craig in there? Or, uh, I guess Jeff uh, is out on a trip somewhere. But uh, uh, we're about 80 miles now, 80 miles east of the uh, Colorado border. But uh, yeah, it did drop down a little bit. Well, I, I can't seem to get it right with Katie, but if she could just get on, that would be nice. Uh, uh, last time I missed her, she did. Uh, she forgot. That's right. Okay, that was lengthy. I know. Uh, I hope that came through, uh, Jim. Um, I don't mean to really make them that uh, that long. Uh, a sunny day yesterday morning when I was not here. Uh, it uh, snowed here and covered the ground up to of an inch or so uh, of snow here, but it melted real quick uh, when the uh, sun came up. It melted quick. But where I was, uh, all we had were occasional rain showers uh, to the south. K K uh, KC9, VKV, uh, K1GZL, Clarksville, Northern New Hampshire. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Everything went uh, just uh, perfectly. Uh, very good, uh, very good transmission. Interesting, Roger, Roger. Very good, uh, very good transmission. Interesting, Roger, Roger. Uh, I miss that, uh, Jim. You took a uh, fade. Uh, did you copy that? Okay, uh, go ahead. Roger, Roger, Charlie. A okay, A okay. Roger, Roger, Charlie. A okay, A okay. <laughs> okay, I got that. Uh, but before you were really building up. Uh, but the band uh, has a lot of Queen Sugar Baker. The band has a lot of Queen Sugar uh, Baker. So I, I won't hold it uh, too long. I want to thank you very much for uh, picking me up and continuing to do the great work uh, you do on helping uh, new hams and people with new equipment uh, get it uh, finalized and get it adjusted so that the audio and everything else are uh, sufficient are, are what they uh, what they are designed to be, and you're the one that helps uh, the, the bringing the design uh, to uh, uh, to fact. So uh, I'll tell you what I'll see you next week. I'll see hopefully see you next uh, Friday, and uh, I appreciate I appreciate uh, your uh, your helping on here as uh, you have. Uh, for a number of years now, uh, you're a great service, a great service to the uh, amateur, uh, 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 you know, society. Uh, KC9, VKV, uh, K1G, uh, ZL, uh, just uh, uh, radiated power, well, at least uh, getting out uh, down to the antenna, I don't think is more than uh, 50, uh, 50 watts. Uh, go ahead, uh, Jim. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, just those 50 watts are falling just exactly where they should because I had a very good uh, coffee on you. And uh, let me say uh, 73 to you, sir. Always a pleasure. Thank you uh, uh, once again. And I'm glad uh, that you're in uh, in better health uh, th these days. <laughs> it's always the best thing is to be in good health. You can have other problems, but uh, health is one of those that uh, we uh, want uh, the best of. Roger, Roger. Roger. We uh, want uh, the best of Roger, Roger. Okay, you dropped way down on that one, uh, Jim. You dropped way down. Uh, of course, I'm receiving you direct, and uh, there's absorption, ionospheric uh, uh, absorption. Uh, Craig, if you've got a couple of minutes, maybe I can work you about 50 or 55. So I'll turn it over to you, uh, Jim. And uh, the band did slip uh, between us. It did uh, go downhill. Uh, the uh, propagation, the radio conditions have uh, deteriorated. 7-3, K1G, ZL. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Jim. Roger, Roger, Roger there, Charles. Thank you very much, sir. This is the uh, Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Net 
My name is Jim, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And we are recording now live to five. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to our YouTube QSO Vlog page, where we're currently featuring over 2,500 QSO Vlog air check recordings. This recording will be cut number one in that series. So, without further ado, let's open it up. Uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. My name is Philip in Alabama, KQ4ETC. All right, Roger, Philip, and uh, what uh, radio are you running? Uh, Roger, Philip, and uh, what uh, radio are you running? I am running a Yaesu FTDX10. Yes, sir. Well, gosh, uh, I have uh, information on that radio. If you would uh, be interested uh, in our setup procedure, yeah, if you would uh, be interested uh, in our setup procedure. Uh, yes, I am interested. I talked to you last week, and uh, honestly, I didn't have enough info to be able to really follow what you were doing. So I've come back and I, I've listened to uh, another gentleman that you talked to with the same radio, and I've read up on my radio. So hopefully, I'll be a little more useful this time. Over. Yes, sir. Well, let's see. Uh, the first thing would be to uh, double check your uh, transmit bandwidth your TBW uh, to be in the 100 to 2900 uh, range, 100 to 2900, Roger. 100 to 2900 uh, range, 100 to 2900, Roger. Affirmative. Uh, you have that set already at 100 to 2900 hertz. Excellent, sir. Okay, now to your processor. A processor engaged and at a three. Processor engaged, Donato 3. Roger, Roger. Processor engaged, Donato 3. Roger, Roger. Roger. I have it set at uh, 30 out of 100, over 30 out of 100. Yes, sir. That is uh, the same thing. You're right. Uh, 30 out of 100. And uh, then uh, let's move to your AOC and with mic gain in hand and as you say the magic word audio stretch out the front of that and adjust your mic gain until your AOC is running two-thirds Roger gain until your AOC is running two-thirds Roger Roger okay it's currently set at 25 um, and I'm getting a it's right at the top of the ALC it's center on the dial now um, Audio, audio, seems to, uh, I, when you say two-thirds, I'm, my meter is white on one side and blue on the other, and I'm right at the point that would be about S7 above it. Roger, Roger, so that would be the about, in other words, you can see where the halfway point is. We want to be to the right of halfway, Roger. In other words, you can see where the halfway point is. We want to be to the right of halfway, Roger. Roger, I have that with my setting on 25 right now. Alrighty, let's go to your EQ. Now, since we have your processor on, we're looking for the the uh, level control, so your EQ that is uh, uh, labeled with the P front. Roger? That is uh, uh, labeled with the P front. Roger? Okay, stand by one second. I do have those. Hang, hang on one second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all have notes from <laughs> last week's experience. Uh, I, I do have a, a, a fire tablet uh, with a lot of uh, notes about uh, uh, this, uh, this radio, the uh, FTDX-10. And uh, I think we'll be able to settle it up uh, pretty quick. Settle it up uh, pretty quick. Okay, I have those settings and I was playing with it based on some settings you did with a gentleman last week. And uh, for instance, my base right now, the EQ1 frequency is on 
500, and my level is minus 5, and my bandwidth is 2 on the EQ1. Over. All right. Uh, first thing, uh, make sure your EQ switch, your mic EQ switch is on. Make sure your EQ switch, your mic EQ switch is on. Yes, Roger, that's my EQ switch is on, and, well, my AMC level is set at 65. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That was a problem last week. We went for about 45 minutes doing things in the air, and the problem was that uh, we did not have uh, the mic EQ, EQ switch on, so we want to be sure that that mic EQ switch is on and that you will be adjusting the P-series EQs. Roger, Roger? We'll be adjusting the P-series EQs. Roger, Roger? Roger, I listened to that whole thing and I learned quite a bit from it. So yes, I have my have everything on and I'm looking at the P uh, parameters right now. Yes, sir. Okay, now uh, is number one your your base frequency? Is number one the base frequency? Number one, your your base frequency. Is number one the base frequency? Roger, EQ one is the it's the lower frequency. All right, let me make a note of that. One is base. Okay. Okay, so uh, the base, uh, we should be on uh, like um, 200. If you can uh, move that to uh, a frequency of 200, EQ number one, the base frequency, run that at, uh, move that to 200 cycles. Run that at, uh, move that to 200 cycles. Okay, hang on. It's a range of 100 to 700. I presently have it on 500, so I'm going to change it to 200. Okay, now I have it set on 200. All right, sir. And uh, then a width of four. Uh, that uh, a width of four, Roger. The four. Uh, that uh, a width of four, Roger. Okay, hang on, my current bandwidth is two. I'm going to change it to uh, four. These are on the uh, P controls. Okay, that's a bandwidth of These four. are on the uh, P controls. I'm sorry, Philip, we doubled just a little bit. These are on the uh, P controls. Roger, Roger. I'm sorry, Philip, we doubled just a little bit. These are on the uh, P controls. Roger, Roger. Right, I've got the. Yes, the bandwidth is set at four. The uh, on EQ one, the frequency is two hundred, and my level is at minus five. Okay, should be a, your bandwidth uh, should be. Is it uh, one hundred to uh, like uh, one to ten? Your bandwidth one to ten, or, or is it uh, ten to hundred? Bandwidth one to ten, or is it uh, ten to hundred? Stand by. Hang on just a second. It should be a fourth, uh, you know, four, whatever it is. Uh, either a four or four year, depending on how the um, it's labeled. Four or four year, depending on how the um, it's labeled. Okay, so all the bandwidths are zero to ten, and the levels are minus 20 dB to plus 10 dB. Yes, sir. Okay, so we want that uh, number one, the base frequency. We want it on 200 cycles, and we want a width of four. Width of four. Roger, Roger. On a width of four. Width of four. Roger, Roger. Roger. I'm affirmative. I have it set at four right now. All righty. Now the uh, uh, EQ number two, the middle EQ, mid EQ, mid frequency EQ. Uh, should be uh, level-wise uh, in the middle. It should be neither cut nor boost. Roger, it should be uh, flat. In the middle. It should be neither cut nor boost. Roger, it should be uh, flat. Okay, what about it? I can turn the frequency to all. I wonder if that would be the same thing. Yes, sir, yes. That, well, uh, yeah, whichever, whichever one. Uh, probably... Um, yeah, you could either be uh, flat, uh, plus or minus zero, or you uh, can uh, just turn that uh, EQ off. Zero, or you uh, can uh, just turn that uh, EQ off. 
All right. Well, I set the uh, level to zero, and I've got my frequency set on 900 hertz. The bandwidth is one. Okay, so since it's flat, that other stuff doesn't really matter, you know, just so long as it's flat. Matter of fact, if you do have a switch to turn it off, uh, go ahead and turn that mid-frequency uh, off. You have a switch to turn it off. Uh, go ahead and turn that mid-frequency uh, off. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. It's off right now. All right, so uh, let's go to uh, equalizer number three. That's your trouble control. And uh, we want to... Uh, uh, put it on uh, 2.7k as the frequency, 2.7k frequency with a width of 4, 2.7k with a width of 4, roger, roger. 2.7k with a width of 4, roger, roger. Roger, 2700 hertz, width of 4, currently my level is at 7. I'm sorry, what did you say your level was? What did you say your level was? My level is 7, bandwidth is 4, and frequency is 2.7 kilohertz. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take that to, is uh, 10 your max? Are you, uh, your max uh, level uh, push, uh, push is uh, 10, Roger? Level uh, push, uh, push is uh, 10, Roger. Roger on level. Level to maximum is 10. I just put it on 10, but I can put it back on 7. No, I'll leave it on 10. I think I like that best. All right, now I want you to uh, give me about 10 or 15 seconds and uh, tell me about your radio and the thing you like best about it. And uh, tell me about your radio and the thing you like best about it. Okay, well, this is a Yaesu FTDX10. Uh, I love the radio. It's really nice. It's my first HF radio, and I'm learning how to set things up right now, and I really appreciate it shows like your, yourself, people like yourself helping out. Over. Yes, sir, Philip, I think we've done it. I think we've got it there. Sounds really great. And if you want to hear it, uh, go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Roger that. I would need to ask you one question if you have a second. Uh, I have a software uh, frequency spectrum analyzer that, to look at the output here. And I'm just wondering, I've noticed the way you said it is pretty much flat from low to high. Is that what we're trying to get? Is it, or do you, would you, you know, prefer a high at the base and a high at the treble and flat and low at the middle? Or, or what are you trying to achieve? Trying to mainly achieve intelligibility, which uh, means the, the top end. Most articulation occurs in the top end treble uh, EQ frequencies. So we want a good preponderance of uh, top end frequency response. So I'm pushing the top for intelligibility. And uh, I'm not really pushing the bottom end because uh, there's a lot of things that can happen if you have a really strong uh, bottom end there. Uh, if you lose the top because of uh, Mother Nature and she does uh, frequency uh, uh, phasing, uh, you, the first thing to go is the top end of your radio uh, audio. And if you lose that and you just have the bottom end, then you're Mr. Mumble. So I don't really push the bottom end too much. Mainly the top end for intelligibility, Roger. I push the bottom end too much. Mainly the top end for intelligibility, Roger. Right, that makes sense. I'm watching your voice, and uh, you have a. Uh, I know there's a lot of QSB on the line on the uh, band right now, but I see you have a lot of bass and virtually no center, and then a, a fair amount of treble. But uh, all your values are equal. The maxes are equal. So, and it's approximately what mine is looking like as well. But uh, I appreciate your help on everything. Over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's frequency. Uh, you know, they uh, a lot of times use 300 cycles uh, to uh, manipulate the uh, base frequency. I prefer 200, which gives you just a little bit more bottom end. And, uh, you know, so I'll do a 200 versus uh, their uh, 300. Uh, just um, makes for a better sound, I think. But uh, you, uh, you know, will be uh, hearing your, your audio on uh, YouTube. Uh, and uh, so you be the judge, Roger. YouTube, uh, and uh, so you be the judge, Roger.
All right, thank you. One last question. Do you know the AMC, the automatic mic control level? I have it on 65. Is that correct? All right, so it is all according to your meter. That's why we do that setup. Uh, audio and adjust the mic gain until your AOC meter is reading two-thirds. That will be the right reading there. AOC meter is reading two-thirds. That will be the right reading there. Roger, which the mic gain is correct. We have a separate setting for AMC level. Um, has to do with the compression. I've, I'm, I've watched videos and I've been told it should be around 65, which is what I have now. So I guess it's good. But um, like I said, I appreciate your help and um, and uh, thank you very much. Over. Yes, sir. Now just just remember, Philip, uh, when you if you dump that uh, little bit of. Uh, uh, processing that we're using, that whole EQ bank is gone. It's no longer referring to the EQ bank we just set up. That EQ bank that we just set up is for when the processor is on. If you turn the processor off, uh, you're back to uh, some some other bank that I'm not aware of, Roger. Uh, oh, some, some other bank that I'm not aware of, Roger. Roger, there is a there's an earlier, there's another bank. You still have to have the mic equalizer on, but if your process level is turned off, then you resort to another set, similar setup, which I I don't even use them because I always have my process level on. Yes, so that's that's the idea. That that's the way it's set up with the processor on, and that uh, the processing level is just very a uh, token amount, just a. Uh, 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 three out of ten, or thirty out of a hundred. Which what was that? Uh, uh, was it uh, three out of ten, or thirty out of a hundred? There. Uh, uh, was it uh, three out of ten, or thirty out of a hundred? There. Uh, the processor level is out of a hundred, and I have mine on thirty. Yes, sir, uh, uh, Philip. I'm I'm making a cheat sheet <laughs> as we go on my. Uh, my little uh, notepad here, so I can uh, I deal with these guys uh, to keep it all straight, Roger. I deal with these guys uh, to keep it all straight, Roger. Roger, and it's very helpful. I listened to you go through this with that guy last week that was having trouble, and I believe me, I learned a lot from that. I guess the only thing that's still a little confused on is the AMC level, but I believe I know what it does, and I don't I don't mess with it. It's uh, at 65, like I said. But um, anyway, thank you, and, uh, you know, we're getting it all together, and I appreciate it. Over. Roger, Roger, Philip. Uh, 73 that way, sir. Thank you so much, and uh, you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, uh, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello, Charlie. Three, Victor Hotel Delta. Victor Hotel uh, Delta, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Uh, Delta, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Hey, how you doing? This is Kilo Charlie Three, Victor Hotel Delta. This is Nate from Pennsylvania. We spoke before, and I was ready to set my mic. Uh, Roger, Roger, Nate. Uh, and what's your location, sir? Uh, Roger, Roger, Nate. Uh, and what's your location, sir? Uh, Washington, Pennsylvania. I'm about 30 miles south of Pittsburgh, 20 miles east of Wheeling. Roger, Roger, Nate. And what radio are you running? Roger, Roger, Nate. And what radio are you running? I'm running the FT891 at 100 watts with a 40-meter uh, dipole. Alrighty, uh, and uh, let's see, how far did we uh, t did we get setting up that radio? Uh, let's see, how far did we uh, t did we get setting up that radio? Uh, we didn't do anything. You were su making some suggestions, but I didn't have my uh, manual handy. But now I have my manual, so I think I can do it now. Uh, how, how's my voice looking? Uh, looking pretty good. Let's uh, run through it here, if uh, we could. Uh, we want to make sure that radio is that a newer radio? Uh, we want to make sure that radio is that a newer radio. Yeah, Roger, that it's very new. 
891, is that her FT-891? 891, is that her FT-891? Yes, sir, that's it. Okay, I think I'll be adding that to my list. I have right now in my, my ham radio notes, I have an FT-991A. So I'm assuming that this is going to be very similar. Um, the first thing would be to verify that we are in that uh, uh, wide uh, transmit band pass, uh, 100 to 2900. That is uh, the best for your transmitter, uh, and uh, without that, uh, the radio will not reach its uh, maximum capabilities. Roger, roger. radio will not reach its uh, maximum capabilities. Roger, roger. Okay, so, so what am I looking at? You're looking for um, the uh, transmit bandwidth, uh, eight, uh, 100 to 2900, transmit bandwidth, uh, 100 to 2900, roger. Transmit bandwidth, uh, 100 to 2900, roger. Okay, let, let me look through the functions here, I'll be a second. All right, it should be right uh, in the transmit section, right there, along with uh, uh, the... Uh, Equalizer, roger, roger. Uh, the uh, equalizer, roger, roger. I'd tell you what, Nate, uh, maybe we can just... Uh, you know, you can look that up later and crank it in. Roger, roger. Uh, you know, you can look that up later and crank it in. Roger, roger. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what the bandwidth thing you're talking about is. Yes, sir. Well, it's, uh, you know, you want to be in that 100 to 2900 because uh, that 2900 is, they're talking about the upper frequency audio capabilities and if you're in a lesser mode uh, you will not have as bright an audio mode uh, as you uh, really should have and 100 to 2900 let, lets you take advantage of the full range audio that that radio uh, can function with roger full range audio that that radio uh, can function with roger yeah i'm kind of trying to read the manual here while we're talking i apologize Yes, sir. Let's, uh, why don't you make a note to uh, check to be sure that you get that radio uh, is or it can be put in the 100 to 2900 uh, transmit uh, bandwidth TVW. Roger. Transmit uh, bandwidth TVW. Roger. Okay. I, I'm looking at it here now, and I see um, where I can adjust my shift, and I'm dead smack in the middle. Uh, and does that mean that you're in the 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth? Does that mean that you're in the 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth? Yeah, Roger that. All right, so uh, let's move then to your processor. Uh, processor on. And uh, let's see, make sure that uh, that process is on and set to uh, uh, 40, uh, uh, 30. Processor on and set to 30, roger. Uh, 30. Processor on and set to 30, roger. Okay, I'm getting there. Give me one second. This is the Friday afternoon QSOV Lagnet. 
My name is Jim, and uh, this is uh, uh, KC9VKV. We're on the air with our network until 5 this afternoon and record live and then post it up on YouTube. Right now we're in uh, Cusa with uh, Nate, and uh, he's working on uh, his FT891, and we're uh, operating on the, uh, the processor, getting it online. Uh, operating on the, uh, the processor, getting it online. It says I'm on 2400 hertz. Okay, the processor doesn't have a frequency. Don't. Uh, it, the processor is the compressor. The, the uh, name it uh, the same thing. Some manufacturers call it one thing. Some manufacturers call it the other. But it's. I think in uh, uh, Yezu language, I think it's uh, a processor, not compressor. Roger. Language, I think it's uh, a processor, not compressor. Roger. ROC is 50. Did you copy that 50? Did you copy that 50? Yes, that's what it is. PROC is 50. Yeah, Nate, did you copy 50? Yeah, Nate, did you copy 50? That's what it is. Yes, sir. 50 in the PRC. PROC, it says. Yes, sir. That stands for processor, and it's on. Roger. Yes, sir. That stands for processor, and it's on. Roger. Roger that. Okay, we want to set the level at 30. We want to set that level at 30. Roger. At 30. We want to set that level at 30. Roger. Roger that. I turned it down to 30. Yes, sir. The thing is, uh, you know, you can go higher, but the, it starts to suck up between words. The higher you go, it really starts, the compressors, processors start to suck up between words, and that doesn't do anybody any good. As far as actually working on the word, a three and a six are the same. Uh, you know, as far as actually working on the word, the only difference is the six, you'll have suck up between the words, and now, like I say, that doesn't do any good. All right, so now, let's move to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, stretch out the first of that uh, word, audio, and with mic gain, adjust it to your mic gain until your ALC is running uh, two-thirds, Roger? Gain until... Running uh, two thirds, Roger. You say ALC? Yes, you have an ALC meter, and that's that's what I'm referring to. Your ALC meter. Uh, adjust your mic gain as you say the word audio. Adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is showing two thirds. Adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is showing two thirds. the ALC meter up now. Excellent, excellent. So, with uh, mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, and stretch out the first of that uh, word, uh, so you use that as a signal generator, audio, uh, and then adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter shows two-thirds, Roger? Adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter shows two-thirds, Roger? Hey, Roger that. Yeah, the, how's that looking there, Nate? Yeah, the, how's that looking? Audio. Audio. You know, you can you can just hang on that uh, word for as long as you can. Audio. And just adjust it there. Just, you know, it's very easy. Just audio. And then you're adjusting the, uh, the mic gain as you're saying that. Adjusting the uh, the mic gain as you're saying that.
Mario. Sight got it pretty well. Nature about got that. Uh, should be very, very easy to do. A uh, matter of fact, you could do it the first time because it's just a matter of uh, looking at the meter and you want to be finding out, you know, where two thirds is. And as you say that word, just uh, manipulate your mic level control until you're uh, at that uh, two thirds point on the meter. Roger. Until you're uh, at that uh, two thirds point on the meter. Roger. Hey, it hasn't changed though. Uh, well, uh, I tell you what, uh, let's find out. What are you, what is your mic reading right now? Uh, well, uh, I tell you what, uh, let's find out. What, are you, what is your mic reading right now? Audio. Uh, yeah, Nate, let's, uh, let's uh, make an experiment if you've got just a moment. Yeah, Nate, let's, uh, let's uh, make an experiment if you've got just a moment. Yeah, Roger, uh... All right, say the word audio, and what is your current mic uh, level reading? What is your current mic level reading? What is your current mic uh, level reading? What is your current mic level reading? Audio. About one third. Uh, all right, I mean your actual mic gain itself. What is your mic gain reading? Yeah, your mic gain reading. Plus 140. Out of, out of what? Out of, out of what? It doesn't say. I was just going to have you, um, you know, verify that. Uh, I'm sure that ALC meter is functioning, but uh, what we could do is turn that mic level down, and why the ALC meter uh, should uh, go down also. Roger, Roger. Right. Uh, should uh, go down also. Roger, Roger. Hey, Roger. Audio. Audio. I turned it way down. It's minus 20 hertz now. Minus 20 hertz. This is not really a frequency thing. It's a level change. Roger, it should be a... Is, are you saying minus 20 level? Uh, you're on the uh, wrong side of the dial there, buddy. This is uh, a frequency that's in use. And you're on the uh, wrong side of this frequency. Uh, try the uh, lower side. Roger, roger. Frequency. It was, otherwise, it would be delivered QRMing. I'm not real sure what your problem is, but it does sound like you are deliberately QRMing. But it does sound like you are. Well, there we go, Nate. Uh, now, uh, gosh, uh, at the end of uh, inning number nine, where, where, where are we? At the end of uh, inning number nine, where, where, where are we? Hey, give me one second, and then I'll get back with you. Let me read this manual a little bit. I apologize. Are you going to be on here long? I'll, I don't know. If I can get too much curium today, I'm going fishing. I'm not going to fight it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I should be for a while, so... Uh, you know, do do what you need. This is uh, KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon kiss of you like not. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Station calling. Uh, give me about 10 seconds. Uh, tell me about your antenna system. Let me look around and see if I can find a better a path for us, Roger. Roger, Kilo Uniform 4, November Yankee, KU4NY. Kilo Uniform 4, November Yankee, USL. November Yankee, Roger, Roger, I've got you uh, down in uh, Georgia, Roger, Roger. November Yankee, Roger, Roger, I've got you uh, down in uh, Georgia, Roger, Roger. No, it's actually Tennessee, Jim. I just want to let you know you helped me out back in November. 
uh, a couple of weeks after I got my new FTDX-10. So you put me through the paces uh, back in November, and I've not changed very much since then. I'm just curious to know what I sound like, Jim. Uh, can you give me a report on my audio, please? Thank you. Yes, sir. Need a little more top end. A little more top end. Uh, uh, what's the uh, full call? Give me your call sign slowly, phonetically, Roger. Uh, what's the uh, full call? Give me your call sign slowly, phonetically, Roger. Yeah, it's Kilo Uniform 4, November Yankee, QSL, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Kilo Uniform 4, November Yankee, GM, QSL. Roger, Roger, and what's the name? Roger, Roger, and what's the name? The name is Tony, Tango Austin, November Yankee. Roger, Tony, and what radio was that? Roger, Tony, and what radio was that? That's an FTDX 10. And that last QSO we had was back on November the 11th. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, uh, hang on just a minute here. L let me uh, give me about 10 seconds. Tell me about your antenna system. I think I can probably copy you on my local antenna. So give me about 10 seconds uh, d and tell me about your antenna system, Roger. So give me about 10 seconds uh, d and tell me about your antenna system, Roger. Okay. Five RV. Of course, I'm using the tuner for it, and it's tuning up. 82 6 meters, and it's done me uh, quite well since I put it up there. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I've got you uh, fairly well on my uh, my local antenna, um, and uh, that's the uh, FTDX 10, and I have a uh, cheat sheet on that now. Uh, so uh, we, uh, you've got your uh, your processor engaged, Roger, Roger. Roger, processor on. All right, uh, let's, uh, and you double check your level, go to your AOC meter with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, stretch out the front of that and use your mic gain to make your AOC meter read two-thirds, Roger. Roger, audio, audio, no. You got it? Uh, no, it's, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, I've got the mic gain up to uh, 100, and the ALC is staying right about uh, one quarter of the way up. Uh, okay, so uh, bring it down to about 70 and let me hear you. Okay, audio, it's now on 70, is there any difference? Sounds, uh... Uh, much better, no distortion. I'm not sure what's going on with your ALC meter, but uh, let's go to your EQ page, your um, uh, EQ page, and there'll be uh, the uh, P EQ uh, series because you have your um, your processor on, Roger. Roger, Roger. And we want uh, that uh, that uh, treble EQ uh, to be uh, uh, 2.7 K all the way up. 2.7K, full boost. Yeah, it's on uh, 27 hertz, uh, 2700 hertz. Yes, sir, and uh, plus uh, 10? And it's plus 10 on the uh, level, yes. And a width of 4? Roger, roger. Alrighty, and uh, tell me about uh, something I don't know. <laughs> tell me about the best thing you like about your radio. I guess I love the uh, receiving uh, characteristics of it. It's, uh, I had a TS uh, 590S before I got this, and that's a great radio, by the way. But uh, this is uh, this is better. It's got the uh, I like the uh, the, uh, the the what am I trying to say? The spectrum and uh, the uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the controls are very close to the VFO dial, but I've gotten used to that. Jim, go ahead. Yes, sir. You should have a lock button somewhere. You should have a lock button where you can lock that frequency and uh, not have to worry about hitting the VFO, Roger? Roger. I use it all the time. It's a, it's a matter of uh, habit now, second nature. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Okay, drop your mic level to uh, uh, 6. Drop your mic level to 6 and let me listen to you. The mic level, the gain, you mean? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, sir. Mic uh, gain. Okay, here we go. And, whoops. All right, the gain is now... GTO stands.
standing by. Well, I guess you couldn't copy me. He was out with six. Do you copy me now? Yes, sir. Uh, just uh, uh, try to be more uniform as you are speaking to the microphone. You, you're kind of stabbing at words. If you can kind of flow just a little bit, uh, I need to hear it that way. Roger? Roger, Roger. Okay. Is this any better? Yes, sir. And you, you're a full boost on the P control treble, uh, plus 10 with the 4 on your treble control, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yes, sir. I think uh, th I think that's it. Uh, the only other thing would be uh, on your bass frequency uh, is that that's a uh, 200 to width of four. Uh, the bass. Let me get over to it. Hang on just a sec. I heard that GTO in there. Yeah, I just got my license today. What you been doing between now and then? I didn't have no license. What? I got my license in the mail today, and I'm, this is my first contact. How do you copy, over? Oh, gosh, I've, I've got it up on the wall. First contact with GTO with his new license. You, you, you mean you let it run out? <laughs> it was expired for almost a year. <laughs> Somebody told me about it. <laughs> it. It took me a hell of a time. Are you done with the other gentleman? No, we got just about done. He's uh, looking for his... Uh, Base frequency control. I've got it, Jim. Okay, uh, that's uh, 200 cycles with the four. I'm sorry, 200 hertz on the uh, frequency level, minus six on the uh, EQ on the on the level, and uh, four in the band. All right, uh, go to uh, six. Go to six on that. Uh, I tell you what. Now keep it four, and and go to uh, minus uh, two clicks less than where you are. Roll two clicks. Uh, so it's uh, two hundred cycles uh, with the four minus uh, two clicks uh, more roll than where it was. Okay. And now it's two clicks lower. Is that uh, sound any better? Yes, sir. I just wonder why. Um, Mm, I wonder why your ALC wasn't coming up correctly uh, and doesn't read any higher than 20. It should be, your ALC meter should have a mid setting uh, and you should reach that at, at least by uh, 5 or 6 or 7 or 50, 60, 70 on your mic gain. Uh, you should, you know, be uh, mid scale on your ALC meter, Roger. Roger, Jim. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to have to uh, do some digging. I don't want to take up any more of your time, but uh, I will check that out. And I appreciate all the time and uh, what you're doing. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I think you're in good shape now. Nice, uh, nice bright uh, audio and uh, nice uh, loud. So if you want to listen to it, uh, go to YouTube, do a call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Roger, Roger, Jim. Thanks again. Appreciate the help, and uh, thanks for what you're doing. KU4 and Y is clear, and 73, Jim. Roger, Roger, 2073, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSOV Log Net, and my Elmer's on frequency. Lou, in 9 gto Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I will say I, I want to make a statement here that you can no longer... Uh, renew your license easily. You have to painfully go through the FCC with a 605 form, download it from somebody that's it's a good PDF form, and then you got to send it to the uh, FCC. You're probably going to be on the phone with them for a half hour to 45 minutes or longer trying to get it all through because of the login and everything. The login requires 14, uh, no less than 12, uh, different numbers for the login. you got to create this, create that and then deposit $35 in a general fund that they never see, but you got proof you sent it from your credit card. And it's just a hell of a thing to do. What is an old-timer going to do that, that doesn't uh, have a computer and he's still on his uh, 530 Kenwood? What's he going to do? Well, you know, I was lucky enough when I renewed my license to run across a gentleman that uh, went out of his way to make things just as easy for me on the computer as possible. 
Uh, we were just uh, we were on the telephone and we were on the computer and he just walked me through it and it was just uh, uh, I won't say a no-brainer it did about an hour but uh, we got it done Roger Roger so that was just here recently Jim that was uh, yeah, gosh I bet uh, maybe four months ago five yeah 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 that's about right I did the same thing about maybe a year ago my wife is still not uh, on there. I gotta get her. I gotta get in there and be mean to these people again. Tell them you're doing all the wrong stuff. They need to turn it over to the AWRL and they can just do it. Do it all online at one time. Renew it, do it, and get it over with. You know, and make it easy. But they took it away from everything, away from everybody. The guy W5, Y, whatever. They took it away from him too. Yeah, it's uh, like the blind leading the blind, maybe. I'm not very happy. How are you copying me on the, ver the I'm on a vertical today. How are you copying me? Uh, gosh, uh, I guess about 10 over, 12 over, 15 over, somewhere in there. It's very good. Uh, you're a little sharp. You could use a little more bottom in. Oh, I know how to do that. I can do that right there, Big Jimmy. You like that bottom in right there? That's coming. You got any more? How about right there? Is that what you're looking for, big boy? No, that's too much. Back, back uh, four. All right. How about right there on the? I got the clipper just to, just showing a little bit of a clip. How about right there? That's good. You got any more top end anywhere? Oh yeah, yeah. I give you all top end you want there. Here you go. It's coming. It, it maybe that's what I needed for AM because the guy said that I just didn't have that punch. How's it sound now, Jimmy? All right. Uh, Give me some audio. Let me listen to you. I got the high and the mid and the low. You let me know what you want. I'm on the three-band EQ over. Okay. Uh, mid uh, mid range EQ flat. Flat on your mids. And uh, let me hear you. Well, the mid is at 1 o'clock. There it is at 12 o'clock. And there it is totally off right there. On the mids are totally off. What do you think about that? No, no. You want that flat. Bring that up to flat. All right, bringing that up back to 12 o'clock. Uh-oh, right, hold on here. Bringing that up to 12 o'clock. That's up at 12 o'clock right there. There you go. Mr. Ferguson, what do you think? Hello, radio. Yes, sir. You, so, sounds like there's something almost uh, shaking apart there on the top. Uh, might be hitting it too hard. Uh, double check your level into your ALC. All right, let me bring that top back to 3 o'clock, and let me adjust the, the load level here where I'm not hitting it so hard. How about right there, Jimmy? Well, yeah, like I say, you, you could use a little more bottom, but I'm saying refer to your ALC for level. Well, Jimmy, this transmitter here does not have an ALC. This is a homebrew transmitter, over. Is that right? Yes, sir, all homebrew. Now, I don't know any radio but yours that doesn't have an ALC meter. Nope, this just has 12 MOSFETs for the final output, over. Yes, sir. Okay, I see where you're going with that. But it's a little more, just a little more on the, on the top. About two clicks more top EQ. Let me, let me hear you there. Okay, just a little bit more on top. There we go, right there. I'm getting in two more clicks. What do you think about that, Jimmy? I think that's perfect. I think that is uh, absolutely perfect, Roger. Well, there you go. See, I've never had this rig, and I'm running A-class right now. I'm running A-class. I can run E-class on AM, A-class on sideband. Over. Roger. Many, many too many classes for me. I only <laughs> I'm usually late for lunch. Well, A-class is only 20% of the total output, whereas E-class, you can, you can get unbelievable amount of uh, what it does at 12 MOSFETs. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, I think we got you under control. It sounds good and loud and uh, very, uh, uh, you know, articulated, Roger. Yeah, it doesn't work as good on upper side bands as it does lower side band. I'm not really sure why that is. Roger, well, hopefully we're on lower side band. Oh, we are, all doubt, without a doubt. Yeah, I was in the house, and, uh, you know, we had a... a whole new deck done you know all the decks had new things put new canopy put over the upper deck in other words we spent about fifteen thousand dollars <laughs> and uh man 
My wife just nitpicked them to death, made them sure they used all screws, and they did this, did that. I mean, she's wore this contractor out. She retired me and, and said, we're going to have it done professionally. I said, okay. And uh, I heard her telling the guy outside, hell, if I wanted it done like that, I'd let my husband do it. <laughs> Touche. Oh, yeah, she she ripped him a good one. She said, you know, I'm paying this kind of money. He did our son's bathroom. Um uh, in his new home in the basement, he has he he has now three full baths. He has two full baths upstairs, and three full baths or one full bath downstairs. Huge full bath downstairs. Uh, one with the tub, one with the shower, one with the you know where the, they're separated. It's about a twelve by twelve room with the the two vanity and the whole nine yards and nine GT over ID with uh, KC9 VKV Doctor VKV on the. Uh, uh, the noontime forum of a or at uh, sideband audio checks. Jim, I'm going to take a standby for a second, and you make a call and see if anybody's out there would like to get their audio check. Roger, Roger. What kind of power are you running there? There, okay. Right, right here is 100 watts. This is 100 watts, and right here is about 500, 600 watts. Over. Roger, Roger. I was just curious, boy. You blow my. I couldn't get a good reading on you, but uh, very, very quiet when you speak, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, like I said, I'm I'm running about uh, 500 watts out of this rig, and I bought this rig about three months ago from a guy up in New York, and he shipped it down here and told me how to put it on here. I have a sideband converter, and I'm receiving you on a flex, and I'm transmitting on the the, the transmitter here, the AMC class transmitter, and it's like I said, it's got the A class. Exciter for sideband, so I tuned you in and uh, tuned you in and looked at everything on a dummy load, and I fired her up. And I said, hey, I should be able to talk to Mr. Furs. Well, you got it going. Sounds really good, Lou. Well, it's got the RE27 on here, and I'm running it uh, through the three-band EQ and running it right in the transmitter. It's as simple as it gets, and uh, I do love my tubes, but, you know, as summer comes on, you, you get kind of gets hot in here. Yes, sir. Particularly, yeah, in your radio room, Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. <laughs> Seventy-three over that way. I'm going to be listening. I'm going to have my headphones on. You carry on until you're five o'clock or five thirty. What time do you usually shut this off? Ah, uh, we try to get out of here at five o'clock. Well, what time's the wife get on the phone with you? Uh, after five, <laughs> better. What time is it right now? Fifteen till. Okay, all is doing good. All is well, sir. Well, the contractor did a really nice job. Uh, they did what in one week what it would take you know with three guys it would take me probably all summer to do, and I still wouldn't have had a nice job done. So. They, they redid everything. That If there was a mess up done by me, see, we used to have that pool at the end of the deck. They went in there and redid all those boards and then put new deck boards down, screwed everything, used a bunch of 16-footers, you know, the whole nine yards, and uh, really made the place look good. So when you come over, you'll see for yourself. The lower, uh, the two by tens didn't need to be done. That was all two by tens. They, they were amazed that I put all that in 16 on center. They were like, oh, my God, you could drive a truck up here. So anyway, I'm going to let you make another call, and I'm going to be listening to you while I go in the house and do the dishes and see if you can get a couple more audio checks out of these guys. Roger, Roger. Good to hear you there, Lou. 73, and uh, listen on. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. 78, W I L station, uh, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. W I L station, uh, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Okay, uh, the call sign is W eight W I L. Uh, phonetically, it would be Whiskey Eight Whiskey India Lima. Roger, Roger, Whiskey India Lima, and what's the name there? Roger, Roger, Whiskey, India, Lima, and what's the name here? Uh, the name here is Gene, uh, Golf Echo, November Echo. Actually, it's Donald Eugene, but everyone calls me Gene. Uh, Golf Echo, November Echo. 
Roger, Gene, what's your location? Roger, Gene, what's your location? I'm uh, located in uh, north central Virginia. Um, uh, it, it's called Bristol, Bristol, West Virginia. All right, Roger, then what radio are you running today? I'm running an ICOM uh, 7000, and uh, I've been listening to you. In fact, I have uh, other radios you've helped me set up, but uh, this 7000 is new to me, and uh, I've, I'm, I'm running uh, at 100, 2900. Uh, the compression is on three, uh, and uh, as I uh, I talk, it's going, the uh, ALC is going about two-thirds. Over. Roger. So uh, the only thing left is uh, go to your EQ page. Sure. So uh, the only thing left is uh, go to your EQ page. Okay. Uh, the, this thing has no equal uh, equalizer. Uh, there, there's no bass or treble or, or mids. Is that the, an older radio? Is that the, an older radio? I would say it was, uh, yeah, it's actually uh, a shack in a box, you might say. Uh, uh, it's HF plus VHF, UHF. It's a small radio. Uh, initially, initially, it was manufactured in seven. I would say 2007. Uh, yeah, yeah, about 2007 or 2008. Roger, Roger, audio sounds pretty good. Uh, uh, since it doesn't have an electronic equalization, let's do uh, an acoustic number on it. Maybe pull back uh, off the mic uh, uh, two inches from where you are, and let me listen to you that way, Roger, Roger. Uh, two inches from where you are, and let me listen to you that way, Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, pull back. Yeah, I was about three inches from the mic. It, it is a stock hand mic, by the way. Uh, I'm about uh, six in inches from the microphone now. And uh, see how that does, uh, if that helps me any over. Okay, uh, since it is a hand mic, let's try this. Uh, pull it to the corner of your lips, actually touch the corner of your lips, and talk across it. Pull it to the corner of your lips, talk across it, and uh, tell me about your antenna system in about 10 seconds. Across it, and uh, tell me about your antenna system in about 10 seconds. Okay, okay, there, there it's at the corner, and I'm talking uh, across it. My antenna uh, is a uh, fan dipole that I built probably about 26 years ago. It's the same antenna. The only thing I've had to do is replace the uh, uh, the rope uh, a few times, and I have replaced the uh, the coax <laughs> one time in those 26 years, over, over. Roger, Roger, Gene. I think I would run it just like that. I wouldn't uh, change anything. I would get the Gorilla Tape out and taper it down. And remember to work that uh, hand mic just that way. Roger, Roger. Down. And remember to work that uh, hand mic just that way. Roger, Roger. Yeah, there you go. It's unbelievable. I, uh, I put the uh, compression or compressor uh, on three. It's for three hour can. It does have that. And uh, I had to, uh, in order to get two thirds of ALC, I had to turn the mic gain down percentage wise. Uh, right now, I'm talking at uh, two at three percent, three percent mic gain. Other than that, with the compressor on. Yeah, I mean, it went clear out of the ALC, and so I had to go clear down to 3% in order to keep it within two-thirds of the ALC. Roger, well, you're you're lucky that it's not into distortion. Are you saying a 3 out of uh, 100? Is that, is that what you're saying, or a 3 out of uh, a 10, or, or what? 100? Is that, is that what you're saying, or a 3 out of uh, a 10, or, or what? Uh, it's a 3 out of 10, Jim. Okay, well, that's 30%. 
that's 30% muck gain, so that's good. Uh, when you get down to that one, one and a half, uh, you uh, leave yourself open for uh, overload distortion on your uh, your mic uh, front preamp uh, front end in your radio. It, when you when your audio uh, mic audio level is down around a one, uh, you can just about count on uh, your front end uh, clipping uh, because of overdrive, Roger. But you're up around a three, so that's that's good, Roger. Because of overdrive, Roger. But you're up around a three, so that's that's good, Roger. Yeah, yeah, the, the mic gain uh, it goes from over to 100 percent, and it, it, it's at three percent in order to keep it within uh, uh, two thirds of the ALC. Well, okay, I guess this is about the as best as I'm going to get it. I went ahead and set it up like you know I've heard you set other people's up, and uh, uh, I listened to myself in another rig, and uh, but uh, it amazed me that. At uh, like 20, 22 percent on the mic gain, I had to go down to three percent with the com- with the compressor or the processor on in or- order to keep it the ALC at about two thirds. Well, I'll let you go and pick somebody else up, and I'll just listen to it myself tomorrow or whenever you put it on to to see uh, how it's working. Uh, I thank you for your time, and I certainly do appreciate it. Roger, Roger, Gene, uh, 73, sir. We'll be uh, uploading this to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Uh, it'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QSOV log air check recordings, and you can get there by doing a call letter search, uh, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, and we should have it uh, uploaded by, by noon tomorrow. Roger? Logbook, and we should have it uh, uploaded by, by noon tomorrow. Roger? Uh, very good, Jim. Okay, thank you. And uh, seven three to you. And I'll. You may have time to pick somebody else up there. Uh, I'll say seven three to you and let you pick somebody else up. Uh, w eight W I L clear. Roger, Roger, Gene seventy three, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net uh, moving towards 5 o'clock. Uh, we've been recording from uh, 3.30. And uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello and afternoon. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey 4 Alpha Victor Tango calling KC9 BKB. Whiskey 4 Alpha Victor Tango, over. Oh my goodness, that sounds like Eric out there and his new new box. Sounds like Eric out there and his new new box. Yeah, um, I don't have a strong signal on you today, man. It must be the uh, propagation. Um, I guess it's just the propagation from, uh, you know, your QTH to where I, I'm out, you know, here out here on the Virginia, East Coast, uh, Northern Virginia side from you. But uh, I just wanted to say hello to you, my friend, and uh, I hope you're doing well. And uh, I, I am barefoot. I'm barefoot on the uh, Yezu FTDX 5000 with 200 watts. And uh, the inverted V dipole, my friend, uh, just wanted to give a shout out and say hello. Roger, Roger, Eric, uh, you might be just a little hot into your ALC, just a little bit. Sounds sounds beautiful, but uh, might be just a little hot. Your dynamic range is like about uh, two dB, whereas we usually look at about uh, three dB as being being perfect. So you might be hitting it just a little hard. Uh, I would bring the mic gain down just a tad. Just a little hard. Uh, I would bring the mic gain down just a tad. All right, my friend. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that, you know, the propagation just, uh, <laughs> it just does not seem to be there today for us, man. But I'm glad that you heard me a little bit, and uh, and I heard you. So, uh, hey, man, all the best to you there, Jim. And, uh, I, you know, I'll hope to talk to you again next week, and uh, hopefully next Friday. Uh, you know, may- maybe the propagation will be a little bit better next Friday when we talk. And uh, But uh, for now, you know, you take care, buddy, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. 7 threes, my man, and this is uh, Whiskey 4 out of Victor Tango. 70 threes, buddy. Roger, roger, Alpha Victor Tango. 
better known as Eric and his uh, loud radio. Boy, that thing is loud. <laughs> Sounds good, man. And, uh, you know, you can hear it if you go to YouTube and do that call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. Uh, and uh, I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, 73, Eric. Good to hear you, bud. This is the Friday afternoon kiss of VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Check out. Give me a shout. Hey, Charlie 3, Victor Hotel Delta. I found the settings. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you did. This is uh, KC9 VKV, Friday afternoon, QSO VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. LC up. If you have a radio you want to check out, Charlie 3, Victor Hotel Delta. Victor Hotel Delta, go ahead, sir. Victor Hotel Delta, go ahead, sir. Hey, I found the uh, controls you were talking about. Uh, how's it sounding now? All right, you might be just a little hot. Uh, I would pull that mic gain. Uh, uh, what is your mic gain setting right at the moment? Uh, oh, did you find your ALC? Did you find your ALC meter? Did you find your ALC meter? Yes. Okay, I'm going to check it. All right, so do that uh, setup uh, with mic gain in hand as you say the magic word audio. Set your ALC for uh, uh, two thirds, Roger. Set your ALC for uh, uh, two thirds, Roger. Roger that. That's uh, transmit, and as you transmit, you say the word audio, and as you say the word audio, you adjust your mic gain until your AOC meter reflects uh, two-thirds, Roger. Until your AOC meter reflects uh, two-thirds, Roger. Audio. One more time on that uh, two-thirds on the AOC meter by mic gain control. On the AOC meter by mic being control. Nate, you copy me? Nate, you copy me? Hey, Roger, that, yeah, I'm about, yeah, about two thirds of the way, halfway up there. How's that looking? You sound hot. You sound real hot. Uh, I would back off the mic gain about uh, 10 clicks. Uh, how is that uh, mic gain uh, situated? I mean, is it uh, 0 to 10 or 0 to 100 on your actual radio mic gain? Is it uh, 0 to 10 or 0 to 100 on your actual radio mic gain? 0 to 100. All right, I'd pull it down 10 points. What are you now? Right now. Okay, pull it to uh, pull it to seventy-five. Pull it down to seventy-five. Pull it to uh, pull it to seventy-five. Pull it down to seventy-five. Seventy-five, right there. All right, yeah, and uh, tell me about your antenna system real quick in about ten seconds. Audio. Uh, tell me about your antenna system real quick in about ten seconds. I got a forty-meter inverted V. Okay, uh, do we go, go to 55? Go to 55. Okay, uh, do we go, go to 55? Go to 55. All right, there. All right, and uh, you have your processor on at 3, is that a roger? All right, and uh, you have your processor on at 3, is that a roger? What, what did you say? I didn't catch what number. Uh, 30 uh, out of 100, Roger, your processor. Uh, 30 uh, out of 100, Roger, your processor. Yeah, 30 out of 100. All right, let's go to your EQ, your EQ page. Your EQ, your EQ page. 
I'm looking for it. EQ, which one? I got EQ2, EQ3, it's all different. Uh, EQP, or your PEQ. Since we have your processor on, your PEQ, Roger. Since we have your processor on, your PEQ, Roger. I got different settings for PEQ. I got frequency, uh, level, bandwidth, frequency, level, all that. Yes, sir. Well, I want you to uh, uh, go to your base, which is uh, number one, your number one EQ, your base. I want you to put that on 200 with the four. Level is uh, to be determined. But right now, the frequency should be 200 cycles. Your uh, Width is four on your base EQ, Roger. Width is four on your base EQ, Roger. Roger that, give me one sec. What was the frequency? Frequency is 200 cycles, 200 cycles, Roger. Frequency is 200 cycles, 200 cycles, Roger. Frequency is in use there, you sideband son of a gun. I know, but you have a parametric EQ, so you can put it on 200 cycles. That's That radio has a parametric EQ, so just put it on 200 cycles, Roger. It has a parametric EQ, so just put it on 200 cycles, Roger. I don't see 200 cycles. No, but you can, you can make it 200 cycles. Uh, just uh, in that uh, slot, I guess, where it says 300, just make it uh, 200, Roger. The slot, I guess, where it says 300, just make it uh, 200, Roger. It's 200. It is 200 now? It is 200 now? Roger that. All right, and with the four? All right, and with the four? The width is four. The width at 200 cycles is four, Roger. The width at 200 cycles is four, Roger. Hey, Roger, I got the width to four. Alrighty, and uh, I want you to uh, tell me about the best thing you like about your radio. Alrighty, and uh, I want you to uh, tell me about the best thing you like about your radio. That. The best thing you like about your radio in 10 seconds or so. About your radio in 10 seconds or so? Uh, it's pretty easy to operate. Getting the uh, mic gain and all that, that's a little more difficult, but very, very user friendly. Yes, sir. Okay, now I want you to go to equalizer number three, your treble, and that should be at 2.7k. Should be at 2.7k with the four. 2.7k with the four on your, your equalizer three, your treble. Roger. Okay, with the four on your. Your equalizer three, your treble, Roger. These are your peak controls. These are your peak controls. I'm looking for it. If we were on the base, then this should be, uh, and the base is number one, we should be, number three should be treble, uh, and we'd be readjusting the peak control since you have your processor on. We'd be readjusting the peak control since you have your processor on. I'm looking. I, th I think you had it on your uh, base. You uh, adjusted that base, so your treble should be uh, uh, one up from there. Not your mid-range, but your other end. Treble, Roger. Yeah, not your mid-range, but your other end. Treble, Roger. 
Yeah, I can't find the trouble. I apologize. Roger, you have a three-band EQ, so it should be right in that neighborhood. Roger, Roger. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe it's listen to something else. I don't know. But uh, do you have three controls right there together? Do you, what you were just adjusting was the bass. Do you see a mid-range and do you see a treble control? Was the bass? Do you see a mid-range and do you see a treble control? Yeah, I'm having a hard time understanding. Well, I'll try this again. I apologize. Thanks for the help. KC3VHD, back to you. <laughs> All right, Nate. I'll let you get back to the book. Uh, it's past my bedtime anyway. i got to get out of here. I see you on the clock, uh, uh, by the clock, a deadline. i got to get out of here. Ooh. So, Nate, I'll tell you what, but maybe uh, next Friday we'll uh, conclude this uh, setup on that radio. In the meantime, uh, this is uh, KC9VKV. If you have uh, participated in the broadcast, want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call, let us search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QSOV log air trick recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noontime tomorrow. So right now we say uh, uh, 73 all, and we turn this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9 VKV, clear.